Good cat. Hey guys, it's Simon here with Caddis Fly Shop and Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. I'm tying another PMD for you guys today. This is a um, like a PMD cripple uh, or like a PMD emerger type thing. It's got a shuck on the back and the body's coming out of the front. Um, has vertical hackle that you can trim if you need it to ride lower. Uh, I trimmed this one already, um, but it's tied on a curved hook, so it looks like the body's coming up and out. Um, Really productive for me, uh, my go-to if I see PMDs coming off. So I will show you guys how I tie it. Um, getting a closer look at this fly here. Um, like I said, it's tied on a curved um, hook. Uh, it's got like a little marabou shock with some um, CDL, hackle, and um, deer hair. So it's pretty simple. Um, another you know, relatively quick tie once you kind of get it down. Um, and again, you know, this is like my go-to if I see these these bugs coming off. I'll either fish it solo or behind another PMD or a caddis or behind like a chubby type thing. So I will show you how I do it. Um, this hook I'm using is a Kona hook. I've uh, used these before in the past. Um, it's the BC3 um, size 14. You can tie it down to a 18 if you want. Um, I choose 14 just because uh, and that size it still works and I don't have to tie something too tiny um, you know I sometimes I feel like when there's so many bugs coming off sometimes those PMD hatches are uh, pretty prolific there's a lot of bugs so you need something to stand out it might be a little bit bigger or in this case you know it's a crippled bug um, I find the fish uh, give preference to a meal they can both see and one that's easy so I try to give them both um, with this pattern so kind of takes wraps down to the back here um, for the tail I'm using CDL again this speckled pardo um, just kind of to imitate those leftover shucks from the nymph tails um, so I take a couple of them here um, on the spent spinner I only use like three here I just kind of grab a clump of them um, and I will pinch it down here and measure um, I want it a little bit long here just because I am going to put a little bit of marabou um, so I do want it to stand out and stick back um, for sure so once I kind of have that in place and get these to be doing exactly what I want them to do um, I'll wrap up here and trim this excess um, and then what I'm going to use actually is just a little bit of marabou these small tips here is what I use. I'll grab like two or three of just these individual pieces um, and that's what I use for the shuck. That's what I've been using for the shuck. Um, you know it soaks up water so it really drops itself down into the water um, so it kind of lends itself towards more of an emerger than like uh, Antron I think um, and this is just my theory. I think it being in the water it really looks like a bug that's on its way out versus one that's uh, most of the way out trying to still wiggle a little bit out of its shuck um, you know if this is soaking up water and down you know below the film I think the fish will see it more so I've been experimenting with it and it works good for me so um, kinda wanna get it secured in place here and trim the excess off <clears throat> and just make sure it's not moving. It's basically what we want right here. And again, this thread I'm using is the Semperfly Nano Silk. Um, on flies where there's a bunch of steps on the butt end like this, you know, you can tell I really didn't build up that much bulk doing this. Other threads, you kind of lose quite a bit of real estate, which I'm not a fan of, so. Um, and I'm gonna take these wraps just a little bit further back to give myself more room to work up there. Um, probably to right about there. Um, and that way it really drops that shuck back into the water um, down there. So next what we're going to do is we use um, part of a turkey feather for the body. Um, opposite of the biot you have the posterior vein right here. These are just like, I like to think of them as you know mini biots that I use for smaller flies. So I trimmed one off already. Um, I've been using them for bodies quite a bit. Um, People like to use biots. I like to use these just because you have a ton of them and I like to find a use for them. And they're a little bit thinner and I think um, easier to use for stuff like this. Um, and what we're going to do here is 
make wraps up to where the hackle is going to be about. Um, so I'm just going to kind of mark it so you guys can see here with this thread. Um, right about here because we need to leave space to put in the deer hair and the hackle. Um, so this fly will get eaten a lot, I know, because I've tied it before. And if you don't put glue, it just doesn't last quite as long. Um, it's my only issue with these biots and why I didn't use them for a while was because the fly would get beaten up. So I like to put a little bit of Zapagap down, um, some sort of glue to help secure it. Um, and then hackle pliers make wrapping this easy. I did find out what these were called. They're called the tie flies tools. Hackle plier, uh, the best hackle pliers I have ever used is what Charlie Craven says. So they are a good hackle plier I've found. I've tried a lot of different ones that I didn't like. And I have, uh, you know, I had to, I didn't keep looking after I found these. I'm, I'm happy with how this one works. So um, we'll make wraps up to here where we marked. Um, and then kind of secure it down, trim off the extra. I like to use a different pair of scissors, um, not my nice ones in case I get glue on them. And so now, you know, this is going to mimic, it's still getting out of its body. And then the front here is going to mimic, you know, the bug shooting out of its shuck. And so what we have to use next is some deer hair. Um, I like to use this X caddis deer hair because it's very fine and it splays really well and it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. So this is from Nature Spirit, it's called X caddis deer. Um, works really good for tying that X caddis pattern but also I think it works good for this. So um, a little trick, um, again this silk is very, you know it doesn't have a lot of grip, it's not coated in wax so I do like to put down just a tiny little bit of dubbing to hold that your hair in place before I tie it down um, just a precautionary so it doesn't slip around the hook um, and so I put that in his hair stacker these little ones I think work better for small stuff like this um, this is one of the small ones from Dr. Slick um, and so we're gonna tie this in here um, and I don't like to wrap it all the way up to the front you know I'm a I want to give myself a little bit of space here um, and so we're going to measure how much we really want sticking out here. To me, that looks good. Um, and you're going to see it kind of splays like crazy. Don't worry about that. You're just going to take wraps back to where you want it to end. You just really want to leave enough space for um, the hackle right now. Um, so now we'll trim this off in the back. And then... Um, you know, you can see this splayed a lot, but it actually does clean itself up as you continue tying it. So I will, you know, kind of secure it a little bit here. We'll trim these ones that are going down off. Um, for the hackle, what I like to use is a light ginger um, hackle. Not too big of a size, you know, like a 14. Same size as the hook works good if you have a gauge. That'll help um, at least make them look consistent. Um, and then I do like to use this bright dubbing because these bugs are pretty bright right when they come out. This is the fine dry fly dub sulfur yellow. Um, just a little bit. This is just to help hold the hackle in place. Give a little bit more color. And so we'll kind of fill this in with dubbing here. this off and this is the reason why I wanted to leave some space because I like to tie the fly off in front of the deer hair so leaving a little bit of space makes that doable and not uh, completely impossible so we'll trim that off and then you can pull the deer hair up here and then if you make wraps under it like this it will prop that wing up and now it looks a whole lot better um, and so I'll kind of fill that in a little bit and then we'll whip finish under it and then that way you're just not messing up your hackle when you're whip finishing the fly so that's the um, you know PMD cripple um, PMD merger whatever you want to call it um, if you want it to ride high and you're in quick water you can keep this um, I like to clip it down if you're fishing like a tail out or something 
Um, now it'll ride lower and drop the back in. Um, so give it a go. Let us know if you like it. It works really great for me and I'm sure it will for you too. Thanks.